Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. And once again, I am surrounded by a random pile of junk. So this is my haul video from Newton, New Jersey, uh, which was yesterday's video, <laughs> which I haven't even edited yet. But by the time you see this, that one will have been already done. So anyway, let's jump into this haul. All right, in no particular order, some of this may have been caught on camera being purchased. Some of it may not have. I don't know. Sometimes I think I'm filming. I'm not. Sometimes I stop filming and keep going. And anyhow, this is what I bought. All right. So at one location, I picked up this little American girl, uh, earring tree an aqua earring tree. It is new in the box. It was $3. We sell on an average 25 bucks. Um, this, uh, is for like earrings for your American Girl doll. You can store them here. You could probably even put your own in if you want to. Uh, this right here is a dirty Stretch Armstrong. Let's see if I can see the date on him. 2019, so he is a reissue. And uh, I'm not really sure what I paid for him because he was part of a $121 bundle deal which I'll show you the rest of that stuff in a little bit because I don't even have it all, all up here right now. Like I said, no particular order. Uh, this guy right here is about to roll away. So this thing was $5. I looked at it and then I went back to it. I thought it was interesting. It is signed 1988 Briere, B-I-E-R-E. -E. Uh, it is a folk art cow ball with a roller. Um, I guess when it rolls, oh yeah, when it, I can't, here, maybe I can show you on here. When you roll it, the ball rolls. So that is actually pretty cool. Um, so anyhow, these pieces actually sell well individually because maybe some people have the roller and they don't have the ball or they have the ball and they don't have the roller. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna sell this as a set or not but I'm gonna put some comps up on the screen and these do surprisingly well. I always try to pick up like folk art kind of items that are signed, even if I don't really know about them because they can do surprisingly well. And that is the case with this. I had never heard of it before, kind of like an obscure, very distinct, yeah, this is signed too. Briere, Pat Pending, 1988. So yeah, really cool. Not a bad pickup for $5. So yeah, keep your eye out for that. There's the marking on the little wheel thing. Where is it on the cow? And they have like Santas. There's a bunch of different ones. I'll throw some comps up on the screen. Alrighty. Uh, and then the one house I picked up, this is in a cabbie bag for some reason. I picked up two Vera Bradley pieces. If they're new with tags, I'm a sucker for them. This is a triple zip hipster in raisin. New with tags. I paid 15 for the two of them, but since they are new, I figured that was not a bad deal. This one, this one almost looks like it's got some discoloration to the, um, the strap. So I looked at that a couple times, but I still purchased it. This one is the, the Morgan Barcelona. So we shall see. All right, where am I putting this stuff? Uh, this here, I got this at the same place I got the American Girl doll. This is a little Sprogs Autumn Leaps by Monroe. Monroe is known to make a lot of like different fairies and angels and stuff. I've never heard of the Sprogs line, but it was a dollar. So I decided to pick it up. Let's see what this guy looks like. He's kind of cute them out of here. Oh, he's in a pile of leaves. <laughs> he is really cute, honestly. Look at this guy. So yeah, Sprogs. Okay, moving on. Again, with these packages on camera, I'm never going to get this guy back in here the way he should be. Not even a chance. Not even a chance. I'm going to put it back in the box and deal with that later. I have it kind of together, but it's not right. Um, okay, so then I picked up two CDs. 
I think these may be Christian music. Um, I've never heard of them. Jesus, son of God. This is definitely shepherd boy. This is Christian music. Um, Chris Tomlin. Anyway, it's new and sealed and it was 50 cents. So I'm hoping that there's a market for these. This one is the Neil Morse band. Neil Morse band. Mm. No idea. Okay, moving on. All right, then I got two packs of these Lennox um, Winter Greetings. This is the Winter Greetings Every Day. There's two different Winter Greetings patterns. This is Every Day. Um, these are good for probably 17 a set plus shipping. Two of those. I got um, four. Oh gosh, no. One, two, three, four. Five. I think there's like six. Six of the cork back. <laughs> I'm having an avalanche. It's a junk avalanche. <laughs> These are placemats. <laughs> I'm not sure what placemats are going to do. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, all right. I, I have to have a better setup for these hauls because, like, this is, this is insane. This is... Okay. Uh, same place I got the little folk art cowl. I picked up this CapTel closed caption telephone. Um, I don't know. I don't even remember what I paid for this thing. It was a couple. Oh, geez. Oh, oh my God. Oh God. I need to, I need to close it. There was a, there was, I was going to say a giant spider. It wasn't that giant, but it was, it was spider enough. Whew. Whew. I'm getting rid of this thing. I, I think it looks like it's unused. I mean, it was freaking horrible. <sighs> okay. Okay. I don't like spiders. I do not like spiders. Okay. Regrouping. I picked up this barbecue set. I don't know if they put all the styrofoam at the bottom because it's pretty high up in this box, but it is a condiment set from Williams Sonoma. It is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. It is um, all of like the shaped jars. It looks like it's got a little nick in the lid. I'm going to say... Some of these go between 40 and 60. If these have like little nicks, I'm gonna say probably about, probably about 40 plus shipping. It's got the mustard, the ketchup, you know, all the regular American condiments. And the stand and hopefully the spoons are in there. I didn't take it all apart. Um, again, this is now Monday when I'm filming this. I filmed, I bought it <laughs> on Friday. I don't remember what I paid for this stuff now. I have to go back and watch the video. I mean, I have a general amount spent for the day, but I, I don't know. Guys, <laughs> bear with me. I just shipped out close to 40 items. Um, I've been shopping for my daughter's birthday. Uh, like, I don't know. I've already done like numerous things today. So I did want to fit this in before I head home. So that's what I'm doing, and I'm like all over the place. So bear with me. Okay, I got these men's New Balance sneakers. They are new. I'm not sure where the heck the laces are. There they are. 11.5. Uh, I paid 15 for these. I really, really tried to get this lady down because that's what I do. But she was not budging. She was like, mm -mm, not happening. Oh, oh, these I picked up at a different house. This was hysterical. So I paid five dollars for these. These are um, these are a youth size, uh, six and a half, but these are an older style, and um, they might do well. I've had luck with this style before. I'll have to check out the colorway. Certain ones are more desirable. I don't know. They're definitely worth five bucks. They're worth more than five bucks. But I picked them up, and there were little dried up pieces. I swear it was Parmesan cheese, not grated Parmesan, but like shredded Parmesan that, you know, it would be like in a, in one of those plastic jars or maybe a bag if you bought the cheaper stuff. Um, but these shoes were filled with this Parmesan cheese. And I was like, <laughs> and the lady goes to me, oh, they're brand new. And I'm like, well, first of all, they're filled with Parmesan cheese. 
And second of all, there's definitely wear on the soles. Not a tremendous amount, but there is wear to them. Uh, but yeah, oh, here we go. I thought we dumped it all out. I have some to show you. This is exciting. Because I'm like, who's going to believe me? Okay, so she saw it and she was like, oh, no, 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 it's pasta. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you know what? She might be right. It is kind of, it may, the Parmesan is usually a little flatter. This is very round. It might be like, but it would, these were filled, these shoes. This may be like the kind of pasta that you find in the rice aroni, because rice aroni is not straight pasta or straight rice. I should say it, it's got pasta mixed in but then again how would they separate the pasta from the rice aroni that sounds like a punishment like if your kid was bad <laughs> and you sit them down at the table and you make them separate the rice and the pasta in a box of rice aroni. <laughs> oh my god I wish I would have thought of that when my kids were younger they, that would have been a punishment that they would have never forgotten and never wanted to like relive. So anyhow, uh, what I used to make them do was sit there and write like a hundred times. Um, like I will not do this or that or whatever, or whatever the case may be. They didn't like that either. But anyway, moving on, moving on. I am getting way, way too sidetracked. So the lady um, wanted 15 I have another pair of $15 shoes, and I don't know where they are at the moment. But then I also got some $10 ones. Uh, these are Adidas, and they look like they're in pretty darn good condition for $10. I mean, they have been used, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get them. I'm not going to leave them. It's one of my earlier stops in the day. And then this is, this is another pair. These are... I forget if these are Kobe's or KD's. I think I actually sold this pair before. Um, oh no, they're LeBron's. Okay, I was getting a call come in and then it like stopped. So that was weird. So anyway, all right, yeah, these are these are LeBron's, but these were $10 also. Uh, I don't know where those other shoes are right now. So I'll have to show you those in a minute. Okay, so the one spot, I was so disappointed in myself. I found... I found a box of ornaments and I found some Christopher Radko's in there. And I think I caught this on camera, but I'm not sure because I did check my camera at one point and it wasn't filming. So I don't know, like I said, I didn't even edit that part yet. But anyway, maybe in the video, I dropped the like, it was like a patriotic, like Americana painted Volkswagen ornament. And there are, I didn't see any sold for the past three months. I didn't tear a peek it either, but there was one listed for $78 or best offer. These ornaments were a dollar. I dropped it and broke it. I was so upset with myself, but here's what I did get there. And although he was saying that the, t the prices of the stuff on the table were like five bucks a piece, I don't think I paid that much. I think I ended up spending like 41 for everything. And then I ended up adding um, a set of this Wedgwood Flying Cloud. Um, this is the only piece I brought in here. The other two boxes are in the back, but I paid 15 for it. And it seems like uh, some of these pieces can do de decently. So I figured for 15 a set, I can't go wrong. All right, so then the other things I bought, this, this, I don't know. This is like an Anna Lee that I have never seen. It's like a repairman, but I don't see an Anna Lee tag. It's got this little key around its neck. It's like a locomotive repairman, maybe? I really don't know a lot about him, but I just couldn't leave him there. So I'll have to figure that out. Uh, I did manage to walk away without smashing this Radco piece. It is a little Scotty dog with the American flag. I have to look him up, but I am certain he's going to bring a nice little amount. And he was in the box below, and they only wanted a dollar a piece for those. Then I did get, mm, my nose is getting itchy. I got another Radco. It's a little tiny one. It's a little church building. And they had a ton of Hummels on the table, which I am normally not one to purchase Hummels, but it seems like they may be making a little bit of a comeback. 
don't take my word for it, guys. I don't want to steer you the wrong way. But some may still be valuable. And I mean, I think I'll do okay with the ones I got. Um, I was trying to do a quick search to like check highest and see if they had any of those on the table. I don't know if I grabbed the right ones or not, but I spent enough time at that sale already and I needed to move on. Here's what I did get. I got this little gal and she sells for about $25 as is. I think there was initially an insert that she would go into. And if I had that, she should sell for more, but I don't. So I'm definitely thinking she's definitely good for $25. Uh, and then I got this gal with the fence and the bird. Not sure what she's gonna bring. Um, oh, this one. This one should bring about $25 as well. She's got her little do doxy dogs. Oops, something's dropping over there. I don't know what that is. Uh, then I got all of these. I, I didn't want to pay. One was in the dollar box, one of these, and the other ones were on the $5 table. I didn't want to pay $5 for these, but these do sell for me around the holidays. They always sell. So I did want to get them. I just didn't want to pay a crazy price. And I don't think I did because, yeah, definitely. If all this stuff was five bucks a piece, it went and came to $41. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Get them out of the way. And then, must be more Hummels in here. I don't even remember at this point. Oh yeah. These are, or no, these are Gobels. These aren't even Hummel. These are Gobel. These bunny rabbits. The bunny rabbits seem to do okay. Got one little skiing, one sitting there with a little baby bunny. And then lastly, I had one with a bowling ball. It had a lot of paint wear to it. Oh, this one's a tennis player. So we'll see about those. Oh, and then I got this uh, Costa Boda is a pretty good crystal brand. And I thought this snail was adorable. Unfortunately, he only sells for around $15. But how cute is that snail? I love that thing. All right, one of the places I stopped, I didn't really find much of anything except for this t-shirt, which, which is dirty. And I may have done that. I don't know. I don't know if that came from my car or what, but it is vintage. It's a single stitch. Uh, two things I love about teaching July and August. So that's pretty funny. Uh, size XL, even though it's got that mark on the back, I think it'll be good for maybe at least $20. I paid a dollar for it. All right, one spot, I got this Kalia by Carrie Underwood uh, jacket in a size medium, really nice puffer jacket. Uh, not too bad. That's um, Carrie Underwood's athletic line. I think I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way and then I'll show you the rest. Okay, so the house where I picked up the um, American Girl earring tree, I also got this uh, Scentsy Tannenbaum warmer. Not sure if it was ever used, but it was $2. It's upside down in the package. It was probably used. Uh, all these trees. I mean, it doesn't look used. And who cleans the wax out that immaculately, right? Do you guys do that? If anybody uses these, because you know what? I have used Scentsy warmers in the past at my house. Actually, I still do, but they're usually the plug-in ones, like the small plug-in ones, like in the bathroom or something like that. But I did have, back when these were first out and they were like all oh, the rage, I did have some full-size warmers. I used them. They looked like a hot mess by the time I was done with them. Like I never cleaned the wax out, even in between like different scents. I would wipe them out a little bit, but it was, it was always a half, you know, half kind of job. So anyway, this looks new, but yet it doesn't. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, this is cool. I've sold this guy before for, for around $25. Not sure if it's still selling for that, but it is a giant grumpy oversized mug and it is from Disney Parks, which is better than Disney Store. I know I've said that in a recent video. Three bucks on that guy. Uh, same place where I got the Scentsy. That was a different house, not the same Scentsy. This one came from the Scentsy. She threw it in. This is Illinois. 
I love these mugs. Like these are like one of my favorite shaped mugs. Like they're just perfect. And I think I have to keep this one just because I need, I need an extra two or three to fall out on my head in the morning when I go to get my coffee cup out of the cabinet. Uh, these Buzz Lightyear child gloves. I don't know, dollar, thought they were kind of cool. Trying to find something at that sale because everything else was expensive. She had a, um, it might have might have been a Thomas Kincaid. It was uh, a Hawthorne Village. I think she wanted thirty dollars for it. I'm like, she's like, well, what would you want to pay? I'm like, five. <laughs> Let's be honest with you, definitely not thirty. <laughs> okay, so um, the 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 one lady, she was a trip, a trip. I mean. Some of those things I probably should have cut out the video, but it was so funny. So anyway, got this set there. Uh, what is this? Uh, vintage America? Some kind of America. <laughs> this is like probably one of the worst Pyrex patterns you could ever pick up, to be perfectly honest with you. But they are the Cinderella Bowls. They were $8 for the three of them. And I am missing one, which I believe is the smaller one. I think there's, yeah... There's a smaller one and my friend may have it at her house. So I'm going to probably give her a few bucks for it and make a complete set and sell those. So those were at that house where everything was $121 at the end. That There was no, that she did not do bargains. She was like set in her price, but that was okay. I, I was okay with that. This is like falling apart. Ms. Salad. I don't know why they needed to go through all of this. I mean, it is a nice presentation, I suppose. But to be honest, it's a freaking mess. I get straw. I feel like I'm on a hayride opening this right now. Like, this is a little extreme packaging, I think. But anyhow, these are super cute. Super cute. Not sure. Mm. I don't know. I think their packaging may have been more expensive than the actual item. These are cute, though. I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to sell them for, but I'm going to sell them. All right. I picked up this water pick. This was $2. Um, it's brand new and sealed. So, hey, why not? Downpour. Aquafall. I'm sure I'll get at least $25 for that plus shipping. All right. This lady wanted 10 I got her down to 5 I know. It may have not been... Um, I don't know how to put this. It may have not been the most righteous thing to do to lowball on a Bible. And I know I'm going to get letters in the mail from some of you for this one. But listen, this is business. This is not religious. It's not political. It's not anything except for business to me. So I lowballed on this Bible and I got it for five bucks. Okay. Listen, I know some of you may not understand it or like it, but it's business. So anyhow, maybe the word I was looking for was ethical. I'm not really sure. Uh, anyway, Arthur Court, little bunnies. I've sold this stuff before. This is really nice. It's new and I paid $8 for it and I think I should be able to get maybe 30. Picked up a Laura Ashley twin flat sheet. Again, fitted sheets are probably preferable, but this is a really nice kind of like a petite rose pattern. Uh, it's actually called Rose Moore, but bedding, vintage new old stock bedding can do really well. Okay, here is the other um, the other pair of sneakers that I bought that were new. These are just a pair of Nikes, 15 bucks. Can't go wrong. Mm, my nose is like totally running from touching all this junk, dusty junk. I'm covered in price stickers and hay. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I took my daughter to dinner last night because... I'm going home looking like a mess today. Um, 
and these right here are definitely like they're new they've never been worn they're bear paws i think they're like a six or a six and a half i paid two dollars for these that was at the scentsy house they were so super affordable there like they were giving their stuff away all right then also with the lady where everything was 121 i'm sorry i am jumping all over the place if anything, at least you guys maybe are mildly entertained by this video because there's no structure to it. <laughs> there's, there's none. There's no structure. Okay, this is a 32-piece set for $5. It is super freaking cool. It is Oxford Hall. Totally retro. Um, it looks like this is the type of thing you would see at like an old like, like ice cream parlor or something like that. Uh, I think I may have sold this pattern before. It looks so familiar to me, but I think it's going to do great. It actually seems like a full set of eight forks, eight knives, eight teaspoons, eight tablespoons. So there's no salad forks to it, but I am probably going to part these out, but may not. You never know. So yeah, that came from there. And then this whole bag of stuff, I'm going to try to drag over here so i did realize after i got home that a lot look at my desk look at this this is like a total mess i'm sorry you guys have to see that <laughs> but it's reality and i'm just throwing shit all over right now um okay anyhow okay so this is soup meister i don't know these have marshall's tags i just thought these were so cool and they were two dollars a piece i got several of these I think they do smell maybe a little bit of smoke. So I'm going to have to disclose that in the listing. I don't like to buy things that are smoky. But honestly, I didn't smell it that day. Actually, maybe the, maybe these don't. Maybe it's the bag. I'm, like, I'm really struggling with being able to tell. So I got several of those. I got two of these Speedo Dive things. They were six bucks a piece on these. Didn't even look those up yet love multi-quantity if you guys follow me you know that and i got a bunch of these probably like maybe 12 of these speedo fit photo scenic silicone uh what do you call these swim cap swim cap that's what i'm gonna call it yeah photo scenic cap they call it swim cap swim hat i don't know they should describe this better on the package. But anyway, they all look like this. This uh, palm tree kind of scene. I figure they were two bucks a piece. Got a bunch of them. They're going to go first class shipping. Super cheap. They should do okay. All right. Then here's another Pac-Man. And then I have this one. This one's just Christmas lights. <laughs> If you have a man in your life who really likes to deck himself out for Christmas, you might wanna, you might wanna snag one of these up. <laughs> this one's a small, they're all random sizes. Uh, oh my goodness. Then I got this. Yeah, I think this smells like smoke. This is a Christmas dress. <laughs> size large <laughs> I got a bunch of these dolphin d-o-l-f-i-n swimsuits like a ton of these they may smell a little Ugh. I don't even know what that is that was, that was not even smoke that's like I don't know maybe what they're made out of like I'm not sure but anyhow yeah, bunch of swimsuits, new with tags. And I'm like, what else do I have in here? More of the Speedo caps, another snorkeling thing. And these are all Iron Co. stretch joggers for men. And they are all in Christmas theme. All $2 a piece. Probably different sizes. Some small, some large. I don't know. Ooh, oh, every time I do these hauls, like my allergies go whew, through the roof. So I think that may be it 
oh, I need to wash my hands and just like get a tissue and get it together here. That is going to wrap it up. I'm pretty sure that I have now shown you everything. I may have missed something because it's typical. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye. And oh yeah, if you haven't seen the shopping portion, check yesterday's video. I'll link it down below. And uh you can see the action. All right, take it easy. Bye.